I don't always use templates, but when I do, I make sure that whatever I'm using is pretty sweet, rad, awesome, cool, as the kids say. I don't know if the kids say that. I've been playing around quite a bit with some templates from our friends over at Motion VFX, and they're making some pretty cool stuff for Resolve. So I wanted to make sure you guys did not miss this. Schlap. So here we have a video about some cooking. Already looks nice, but what if we want to spice it up a little bit? What if we want to add a cool little, you know, title card here? Well, check this out. This is a nice, just kind of clean template. It's all animated. Looks nice and trendy. And this is part of the M Channel Clean Pack from Motion VFX. It's a whole collection of these kind of modular little elements that you can add to your videos. And the thing I like about them, they look nice and stylistic without being too specific, right? You can put these kind of things on any video just to spice it up a little bit, and it still makes sense. Just a ton of really useful things. Like here's this little progress bar thing. It's so easy to just throw this on a clip, and then you have this progress bar that shows you kind of how long the clip lasts. I can quickly just throw one of these on any clip that I want. And like, I have a little intro thing now. It's all animated, nice. I can select this clip and go to the inspector up in the effects and I can load my own logo or I can use text and I can customize it. And it's just a super slick way to make an intro or you know a chapter card or whatever I wanna do. And if I don't like what I'm doing, I can always just get rid of it by clicking this little garbage can here in the effects. There's just a whole little toolkit that you can combine to make all kinds of neat little designs. They're easy to adjust. And I can throw them on an adjustment clip to kind of control when they happen really easily just by kind of moving this back and forth. Just a neat way to add all these little things to your videos without having to spend a million hours making them. I love this kind of toolkit approach to things. Another pack I wanna show you is the M Tutorial Pack. This is a collection of all kinds of little widgets and things that you can use to pop up when you're doing kind of explainer videos. And you know how much I like making those kind of videos. They have callouts, these little selection boxes and everything, and everything just looks really clean. And I was kind of playing around with this. We have this little selection box that comes up and kind of highlights part of our video. Obviously this is great for, you know, tutorial content, screencast content also, but it works really well even for this kind of thing. I love this kind of animated little window and it kind of blurs out everything else. Just a really nice way to kind of focus things. Let's say I want to do kind of like a little chapter or something here. I can grab this like tutorial placeholder 12 drop this on my adjustment clip and check this out. Makes this into a little animated window here and we can customize this text. And now this will animate in. And it's just so easy to make something like that. I mean, sure you could make this yourself, but man, it's gonna take a while. And it's really easy to just grab another adjustment layer and drag this onto it. And I can position this to be exactly where it needs to be. Change my text. And it's great to kind of just bring attention to a specific part of the video. This is so much fun. I know I'm gonna be using this a lot for my content. And I wanna show you one more really cool template. And check this out, this is so cool. I'll just grab a screenshot of my screen right now. And I'll show you how quick this is to make like an animated screen. Okay, so we have just my screen from a couple minutes ago. And I'll use this template called MCamRig. Now check this out. I can take this and throw it on the screen. And I'll go to our effects here and I can animate all kinds of 3D movement on this screenshot. So we'll kind of tilt this over. Let's say we want to highlight just the middle of this screen here, and we'll zoom this in with our camera controls. And then we can also add these effects so we can have it sharpen a little bit, which is gonna help this stick out a little. We can add some chromatic aberration with this prism effect. This is really neat. Add a little bit of depth of field kind of stuff here with our blur amount. And we can even turn on the grid, which is really cool. It kind of looks like the pixel grid, you know? And we'll just push that up ever so slightly. And now this actually animates in just like that. Man, that's slick. And not only can we have it animate in, but we can have this kind of move in the middle as well. We can select this, go over to camera controls, and we'll just say slide X-rate. We'll push that up a little bit. And we'll have this kind of dolly to the left a little bit as it goes. Have it keep zooming in too. Just a really nice movement. That would take forever to do just like infusion or whatever. What a nice way to highlight part of your screen. Ugh. Such a cool thing. So yeah, Motion VFX, they got some pretty cool stuff over there. They have all kinds of presets and templates for Final Cut Pro, Premiere, After Effects, and of course DaVinci Resolve. 
So make sure you don't miss what they got going on over there. Very cool, pro looking, nice, clean presets, man. And if you buy anything from Motion VFX with the link down in the description, uh, you know, I make a little money on top of that. So it's helping me out. It's helping you out. It's helping them out. Oh, it's so good. So big thanks to Motion VFX for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for hanging with me. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And until we meet again, I hope that your callouts are clean and professional. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Dan!